Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at the Matrox Marvel G450E TV video card. And this is the product itself. This is the box which it does come in. Of course, the manual. And this is the drivers, the CD for the drivers which you will need to use when installing the drivers for the video card and the drivers for the TV capabilities on this card. I should note as well that if you have Windows XP installed you will need to go to Matrox's site and download the current drivers for the Windows XP operating system. Also included with the software on this video card is the ULEAD Video Studio uh, SE. This is excellent software for doing any kind of video editing. Also included is the audio video cables in and out and of course the video card. And on this video card you have the standard VGA out, the audio video in this is the coax cable connection here for your cable TV connection. This of course right here is the TV tuner. And of course you have the audio video out connection right here. Once the audio video cable is connected into the video card, and of course the video card would be inside of your computer system, you can connect things, anything really, you can connect the video right here and or the audio or you could do instead an S video in right here. And this is the audio video cable. This of course is the out and you could output this into a display which would accept an S video out. Also you could use the standard video out. This is the composite. And of course this one here is for the television. You would go from this cable into your sound card and then get the audio for the tuner. Let me now install this card into my computer system and show you some of the software display properties. And of course once you install the video card and all the drivers and the other software which is required or which you want to use, I'll go into the display properties here. Now this is basically the simple properties which you get from going into the display properties on your particular operating system. In my case I'm using Windows XP. What's of interest here really is the dual head feature. Now, it does have uh, plenty of options in here. I'll just go over a few very quickly right now. In here it does have the option of course you can do the D dual head multi-display. You can have that enabled or disabled. Right now it's disabled. You can also do a dual head clone. That means of course one monitor or display is the same as the other. The dual head zoom, what that is you can zoom in on part of your display and view it on the other display. And here you have the dual head DVD Max. This gives you the ability to play a DVD but play it on the secondary display. Here you have the TV output. Of course you have options on here like standard TV, a display TV settings. You have the DVD Max TV settings as well as the TV adjustments in here. Let's now have a look at the TV capabilities of this video card. And now let me go over some of the basic features with this TV. Of course you have options here like there's a help feature. Of course you have the video source so you can actually have the line composite video, the line S video or the TV tuner which is of course what I have selected right now. You also have a mono and also a stereo option here. This is a volume increase or decrease here as well and of course you can go ahead and mute this. You can change the channels as well. So very very simple to do that. Of course you can also punch in any number 
right here manually. Another really cool feature about this video card is a process called time shifting. When you do enable time shifting, you get a progress bar right here. And of course, you can go anywhere within that progress bar and play back what you missed in the past. You can also do a quick instant replay by pressing this button right here. So a very neat feature, time shifting. Some other options with this TV is the playlist settings. Also, you have the recording settings. Also, you can do a video snapshot. For example, what's playing here right now, I can just do a quick snapshot and it will give me the options up here of what resolution I want to do this or save this in. And of course, once that's done, I can go ahead and just save the file to a place on my hard drive. And also in here you have, of course, the TV settings. You can adjust the contrast and brightness and so on. You have the option for closed captioning as well as you have the option for just the general settings. And of course you have the time shift settings. Of course you can also just record on the fly. For example, if I wanted to record uh, this video and audio right now, just click on record. It will tell me where it's recording as well as the amount of frames captured and so on and so forth. And once it's finished, you can go back, of course, and play the video back. Matrox has done a great job with this video card. If you're looking for a card that's really intended for a corporate audience, certainly not a gaming audience, so if you're in that market, you're looking into this kind of a card. This card, of course, has the great, fantastic 2D, very crisp quality, Vibra colors, DVD capabilities, of course you have the dual head, and of course, if that's not enough, you have the TV also in this card. So, a huge package here for a great price. In saying all that, I give this video card an 8 out of 10. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back in a few days. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to check out my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, check out the forums. Until the next time, take care.